cell phones or other electronic devices, and flash photography is permitted. Thank you and enjoy the performance. Right. I got 
Um, um, excuse, excuse me, I'm afraid this letter has been rather anxious. anxious. You, you must be Mr. Mr. Green. Green. Yes, yes, that's, that's, that's exactly, exactly who I am. Welcome, Welcome sir. sir. Well, well this, this, this isn't at all what I was expecting. I find that if you expect nothing, nothing at all, you're, you're never disappointed. disappointed. Oh, well, I'm not disappointed. disappointed. Hold, Hold that, that thought for just a moment, sir. sir. Please arrive at 7.30 sharp on Saturday. Well, well here, here I am. am. Professor Plum, if, if you, you say, say so. so. Well, well, well. And I thought I'd, I'd seen everything. Miss Scott, Scott, I didn't, I didn't realize, realize you and the professor were acquainted. Oh, we're not. The bridge is washed out from the storm, and this professor offered to give me a ride. And I'm hoping she can repay the favor. How was the drive? So, a long haul. It is a long haul, but then it's a very large house. The lounge is right this way. What is this godforsaken place anyway? Uh -huh. This old place, why it's none other than Body Manor. <laughs> Sorry. Advertise in the lounge right now. Porters! Good! I'm sorry. Funny, Funny, I have a bunch of an appetite, appetite at all. Wow, this really is a party. Well, well greetings all. all. It's, it's a, a pleasure, pleasure for you to see me. Ooh, cocktail. cocktail. There's so, so many, many of you, you I like, didn't, didn't realize. realize. Oh. Right, right, and then you're all here. Colonel, Colonel Mustard, present Mrs. White. White. Yes. Miss Scarlet, Miss mm. Peacock. Oh, hey. Mr. Green. That's me. Professor Plum. Here. here. I, I am Wadsworth, Wadsworth the Butler. Tonight, Tonight, as you, as you might have surmised, nobody is being addressed by their real names. names. A courtesy provided to you by your host. I suggest you follow his lead and refrain from exposing any personal details about yourself. You never know when you... <laughs> ah, dinner. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry, I guess I'm a little clumsy. <clears throat> You were saying you never know when. What? 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 Right, right this way. way. <laughs> Cook and get a bit cranky. Don't, don't want to keep, keep her waiting. waiting. Find your names beside your places, please be seated. Where's the white one? Are you green? No, I'm white. No, you're not. <laughs> Wait, they know my name. Why are you named after a color? Are you named after a color?
say who we really are. And... Oh, oh, I have no idea, idea what we're doing here. here. This, this soup is delicious, isn't it? Isn't it? I know who you are. You do? Mm -hmm. I work in Washington. Washington? You must be a politician's wife then, Mrs. Peacock. Yes, I am. Who's your husband? Maybe I am. Well, Mrs. White, you've been awfully quiet. What does your husband do? Nothing. Nothing? Well, he just lies around on his back all day. How lazy! Oh my goodness gracious, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. Let me get that for you. you. Oh. oh. Uh, That'll be five dollars, Mr. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Mr. Green, what, what do you do, do in Washington? Washington? Oh, oh, um, it's, it's probably, probably better, better if I don't say, say it. I, I like, like to follow. follow. Afraid of silence, Mrs. Peacock. Yes. yes. No. no. Why? It, it appears, appears you suffer from what we in the business call pressure of speech. Is that an official diagnosis? Yes, you I am. In, in psychological medicine. medicine. Do you practice? Not at any more. But now I work, I work for the government. government. Another politician? Not exactly. See, I do research for the You Know Who. Who? A branch of the United Nations Organization, the World Health Organization. Ah, uh, You Know Who. It's an acronym. I have a sister who is a gymnast. Well, 
Where's, Where's our host? host? He's, He's not, not here. here. No, no one, one is here. What is happening? Cigarette. It'll no. calm your nerves. Oh, I don't <laughs> smoke. Good Right then, are you comfortable? I make a good living. All right, out with the quads worth. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, these instructions, instructions are clear. Last something is. It would seem the six of you all receive the same letter. I found it. It will be to your advantage to be present on the stage as a certain Mr. Bonnie will bring to end a painful, long standing financial liability. Yeah, that's what the six of you all have one thing in common. That Tyre McCarthy will be blacklisted, aren't we? Just come! You're all being black male. There's a difference. For some considerable time, you've all been paying more than you can afford to someone who threatens to expose your secrets. That's ridiculous! What does somebody have to blackmail me for? I go to church every Sunday. Yeah, lady, don't we all? Anybody else wish to deny it? Well, actually, I think. By now, I'm sure we're taking the. Least discerning amongst you has determined that your blackmailer is none other than Mr. Body himself. It's Mr. Body? What a scoundrel! Who is Mr. Body? Who is Mr. Body? Is no concern of yours. Suffice it to say, he's a supporter of the House Un American Activities Committee. And he has decided that your activities have been decidedly un American. I can hear you! task this evening is to expose your secrets to one another, rendering you all culpable in each other's discretions. But we ought to know each other. Precisely. Don't you think you might spare his affiliation? I'm afraid I have no other choice. We're we'll starting you, Professor Plum. Oh, this ought to be good. It says here you were a practitioner in psychiatric medicine, specializing in lying lunatics suffering from delusions of grandeur. Yes. But now I work for the government. So your job has not changed. But you cannot practice medicine anymore, can you? Your license has been suspended, correct? Why? What did he do? Well, you know how male doctors aren't supposed to date their lady patients? Yeah. Yeah, but he did. Oh, dear. How awful! Somebody there could be arrested into a man like you! I hope so. Are uh, you, you making moral, moral judgments, judgments with people? people? How, How then do you, you justify taking bribes in return for delivering Senator Peacock's votes to certain lobbyists? My husband is a paid consultant, and there is nothing sinful about that. Not if it's publicly declared, but if it you slip cash under the stall door at Old Ebbets Grill. Now, how would you describe that transaction? I say it stinks. Since when were you in that men's restroom? So it's true! No! It's a vicious lie! But you've been paying the blackmail for over a year now to keep that story out of the papers. Sounds a little... sticky, no? Well, I... Well, I'm willing to believe you. I, too, am being blackmailed for something I didn't do. So am I. Thank you. Not me. You're... You're not being blackmailed. Oh, I'm being blackmailed, all right. But I did what I'm being blackmailed for. Oh, what did you do? I run a non-governmental agency that handles classified affairs. <laughs> affairs in Washington! Wait, is that how you knew Colonel Mustard worked in Washington? Is he one of your clients? Certainly not! I was 
asking Miss Scarlet. Well, you tell him it's not true, then. It's not true. Is that true? No, it's not true. So it is true. Aha, uh -huh. a, a double, double negative. negative. Double negative? You mean you have photographs? That sounds like a confession to me, Colonel. No, In fact, it would seem that the double negative has led to proof positive. I'm afraid you gave yourself away. Are you trying to make me look stupid in front of the other guests? You don't need any help from me with that, sir. <laughs> Colonel Master, it's... Colonel Master, it says here that you hold a sensitive position in the Pentagon. Those negatives would certainly compromise that position now, wouldn't they? <clears throat> in what position? Exactly where you're caught in, Colonel. This is an outrage! Let's see who's next. Ah. Uh, Mrs. White, you've been paying our friend the black man ever since your husband disappeared under, shall we say, mysterious circumstances. Say what you want, I didn't kill him. Then why are you paying the blackmailer? Don't you do the scandal, do I? Another? We had a very humiliating confrontation. He threatened to kill me in public. Why would he want to kill you in public? I believe she means that he had threatened, in public, to kill her. It was all over the papers. And yet he was the one who died, not you, Mrs. White, not you. He was found dead at home, unclothed. His head had been cut off, and so it is. <laughs> but I didn't do it. I'd been out all evening, not the movies. What was shopping? The naked alibi. A likely story. But it, but it says, says here he was your second, second husband. husband. Your first, first husband, husband also disappeared. That was his job. He was an illusionist. <laughs> but he never reappeared. He wasn't a very good illusionist. <laughs> and Mr. Green, who is... Uh, I don't need you to unmask me, Wadsworth. I know what you're going to say about me. What's that? Mr. Green, who is... <laughs> A homosexual. Not me. I... I beg your pardon? You said who is a homosexual. So I said, not me. I'm sure Scarlet has something to that. Yes. So thank you, Colonel. However, there's more to than that, Mr. Green. How do you mean? There's also the question of your politics. My politics? Since when was working for the Republican Party a crime? You swore an oath of allegiance to the Republican Party, yet neglected to vote for Eisenhower in the last election. That's grounds for an ousting if there ever was one. But voting records are confidential. Everything has its price, Mr. Green. So, there you have it. Have what? A lascivious doctor, a disloyal Republican, and a crooked senator's wife. Not exactly adhering to an all-American standard of behavior now, are we? Depends on who you ask. But if this body fellow is such a noble civilian himself, why doesn't he turn us into the authorities? And give up the opportunity to make a quick buck? Come now, Professor, what could be more American than that? Apple ah, pie. All right, so we're being blackmailed by a renegade McCarthyist. Where does that leave us? Where is this Mr. Body? And what does he want from us? Who cares? I'm not staying to find out. I am leaving! I'm afraid I cannot let you do that, Mrs. Peacock. You can stay in denial all you would like. But you cannot leave this place. I am the wife of a great senator! You cannot tell me what to do! What? Indeed. The doors are all locked, the windows are barred, and the grounds are patrolled by vicious dogs. There is no way out. Why are you not the dogs here? I hate those dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you your host for the evening and your black man that for life, Mr. Body. How did you do? Yes, sir. <laughs> In the study with her knee. Thank you. I've studied martial arts. <laughs> Can you teach me that? Yes. There's one more piece of information you might like to have. What? what? The police are coming in less than an hour. The police are Well, you agreed to double down. 
And why would we agree to that? Because if you don't, I'll put this briefcase containing all the evidence needed to expose you in the hands of the police, the press, the un-American committee. You know what the rights have been? Those fellas can make a commie out of anyone. I think some of you would face a lifetime of jail, others a lifetime of shame. I'm not fit for jail! You are not fit for jail! Unless... Unless what? Unless what? Well, there is something you could do for me. Something that would change the game. Something I just can't bear to do myself. What? 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 Oh, won't you please have a seat? Okay. Um, do you mind if I sit here? Uh, uh, sorry. A little accident prone. <laughs> What's this about, sir? Well, it's worth it. There are six packages that I think our guests will find useful this evening. Packages. Oh, gifts. I'm sort of a generous fellow. Are you? Ah, oh, Wadsworth. Won't you please see to it that our guests each receive a gift? Gladly. Does anyone want to make a guess on what's inside? Their gift? Perfume? Candy? Ever a single pop scotch whiskey? All right, guess a game spot. Now, please. Open. A candlestick? What's this for? A ranch. Of course, of course I get the light pipe. pipe. <laughs> a revolver? A dagger. A dagger. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's just a rope. <laughs> In your hands, you six-fold a lethal weapon. You all came here tonight because you thought the evidence against you was so horrible that you'd do anything to keep it a secret. Well, I'm putting that to the test. You are, you see, Wadsworth here is the only other person who knows your secrets. And it's costing us very, very heavy to keep him quiet. What do you mean? Well, I wouldn't have to double your blackmail if I didn't have to Pay Wadsworth here for his silence. Wadsworth? Oh, that's a lie! He may look suave and charming. Thank you, sir. But he's also conniving and manipulative. False! Why else do you think he's called the police? You called the police? Only because he instructed me to do so. Aw, did I? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you could get rid of Mr. Wadsworth. It's not only your secrets, but mine. Well, I have no need to expose you to the police. Does he mean kill him? In fact, if you could eliminate Wadsworth. Yes, I think that's what he means. That knows all your secrets but mine, as I said before. Well then, I'd have no need to double your blackmail, and I would be done with this whole business once and for all. Fine. Well, why would you make us do it, body? Why don't you do your own dirty work? Yeah. yeah! And why would I when you all are so uniquely motivated? And armed. What a patriot. After everything I've done for you, this, this is how we repay you. I, I, he's a liar. I'm, I'm not a butler, I'm an indentured servant. I'm one of you. It's all over now. Well, well, folks, the police are on their way. Now's your chance. The only way to stop the blackmail and to keep your faces off the front pages is for you to, hmm, kill Wadsworth. Oh. Now. Oh my gosh. It's Mr. Body. Oh, thank goodness. Is he breathing? Stand back. I'm a doctor. I'm just too sick. He's dead. Who had the gun? I did. So you killed him? I did it. But if you didn't, then who did? Somebody stole the gun from my hand. Next thing I knew, there was a shot. There's no bullet wound. Oh, there isn't. Look, there's a bullet lodged here. 
Eagle eye, Miss Scarlet. Yeah, but if the bullet hole's there, then how did he die over here? I don't know. I'm not a forensics expert. Something else must have killed him. One of us must have killed him. Well, don't look at me. I didn't do it. You were the one he was threatening to kill. I was at the light switch. I need a drink. Maybe he was poisoned by the brandy. No, 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 The screams, they're coming from the billiard room. Sounds like a siren. Yes, just the five. Husband. 
proven to be like Kleenex, soft, strong, and disposable. <laughs> well, if it wasn't you, who was it then? Who had the dagger? It was, it was Mrs. Peacock! <gasps> yes, but I dropped it! Where? In the study! Any one of us could have picked it up! Where? 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 Well, then it must have been, been Mr. Green! <gasps> oh! Good lord, someone let him up. Can somebody please help me? No. Please. Do I have to? Any slower, any slower. I could go much slower. Oh, my, my lord. lord. Oh, my, my lord. We could just leave him here. <sighs> All right. Gentlemen, <sighs> might I suggest that we take the kid's body into the study? Why? Well, first of all, when the police arrive, they find him. This will all be under suspicion for murder. And secondly, I, I'm the butler. I'd, I'd like to keep the kitchen at least a little bit tidy. Present and the imminent arrival of the police. The bridge is washed out. That should buy us some extra time. But I don't want extra time. I want the police to arrive. I am trapped in this ugly manner. I can see you. Shh. But when the police get here, the rest of us are dead. Wadsworth, am I correct in assuming that there's no one else in this house? Yes. So there is someone else. Sorry, I said yes meaning no. Yes meaning no? Yes. Look, I want a straight answer. Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, shut up. Wasworth, is there someone else in the house? Yes or no? Um... No. No, there is or no, there isn't? <clears throat> yes. There seems to be some confusion about whether there's someone else in the house or not. There isn't. There isn't any confusion or there isn't anyone else? Either both. Just give me a clear answer! What was the question again? Is there someone else in the house? No! That's what he says, but does he know? Look, we have a killer on the loose. The missing dead body of Mr. Body, a cook! the dagger on her back and all of these easily accessible weapons. The rope, the revolver, the candlestick, the wrench, and... Hey, where's the lead pipe? <laughs> He's dead. That's what you said the last time. I believe in second chances. Mr. 
body. Dead again. I'm going to say it. I'll catch you. Sorry. Miss Peacock. Yes? Where did this happen? In the bathroom. I opened the door and there he was. At first I thought he was attacking me. But then I realized he'd been propped up against the door for it, just waiting to fall on someone. Who would do such a thing? It takes a lot of guts to kill someone. Twice. It's what we call overkill. <laughs> but why? What's the difference? Makes a difference to him. Makes a difference to us. We've got to find out who killed him, where, and with what. <clears throat> I think it was with the lead pipe. Ten points to Professor Plum. Thank you. What kind of game are you playing here, Wadsworth? This is the game. <laughs> Wait, did you? The lead pipe belonged to you. Yeah, but I, I dropped it while running to the kitchen. Remember? Who just drops a murder weapon? I didn't know it was a murder weapon when I dropped it. So anyone could have picked it up. Yes, but who did? Who did pick up that pipe and throw the penis and body to death? Who did that? Who? 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 Call it, Butler. While you're losing your marbles, I'm over here trying to do something useful. Have you all forgotten about the evidence against us? The evidence! Body's briefcase is locked. There must be a key. Mr. Green, would you be so kind as to search Mr. Body's pockets to the key to the briefcase containing all of the evidence against us so that we might find it destroyed once and for all? Why me? Why not? Yes, I, 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 I really like don't want to. I believe I see it It's really funny. It's, it's right. Oh, it's, right. It's, it's, oh. No. No, go on. I believe I see it right there. It's left box. Okay. Can I have some room? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Hey, where'd you get that? Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't like germs. Or fingerprints? No, it's <laughs> really mostly germs. <laughs> anyway. Right, I 
Well, how do we flip her with the dagger in her back? Put the dagger on the side. Okay, get her legs. What are you She's doing? Why are you grabbing him like that? Go on that side. Go on that side. All right. Oh, we did it. Okay, not Oh, okay. Okay. Not, not by the legs. I can't. Get her legs. Get her legs. Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask the body? Oh, too funny. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's give this, this one more go. Yeah. All right. Okay. On three, we're done. On two, three. Oh, get that out of his face. Get that out of his face. Oh, sorry. All right, ready? That is beautiful. No, not by the legs. By the torso. Hurry up. front. Ready? Just. All right, up to Daisy. Suggesting that we go outside, merely that we throw away the key. But to throw away the key, you'd have to open the door. But, yes. But if we open the door, we risk letting the killer inside. Oh. Better out than in. Yes, we would want to keep him outside. But if we open the door, we risk letting him back inside. The killer seems to be doing a fine job of opening and closing doors all by himself. I don't see how opening the door for one tiny second can possibly make a difference. What if we open the door, throw away the key, and the killer catches it? Then the killer would have the key we're trying to confiscate. We might be overthinking this. I don't think so. I'm going to throw away the key. Follow me. Go! Phone did. You a killer? Did. 
Oh. All right, then. This way, please. Oh, wait, 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 Body, no body. Right, there's no body in the study. That phone is out of order. There's one you can use in the lounge. <laughs> All right, you think it is? Yes, 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 of course, of course. Ow, ow. That's dead? Yes. Tubular. Rose. Our task is twofold. One, find the evidence against us. Two, find the murder. We've got one potential suspect contained in the lounge. But that leaves the entire rest of the place up for grabs. Who knows what's behind all these doors? I suggest we handle this in proper military fashion. We'll split up and search the house. This is Pulita! Yeah, we'll split up into pairs. That way none of us will be alone. But if we split up, one of us might be careful the killer, and that person might get killed! But then we would have discovered who the killer is. But then the other half of the pair would be dead! This is war, Peacock! Casualties are inevitable. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Every cook will tell you that. What? The cook is dead. Um, <laughs> your breath is really bad. Um, Colonel Hart, are you really willing to take that chance? What choice do we have? None. I suppose, suppose you're right. right. <laughs> All right, troops. Divide and conquer. I'll split us into pairs. Eeny, meeny, miny. No. no. Mrs. White, you're coming with me. Professor Plum. You're with Mrs. Peacock. Yvette, you're with Green. And Miss Scarlet, you're with Eeny, meeny. Miny, uh, mo. Now, leave no door run open, Dent. Cherish your partner. It might, might be the, be the last, last person, person you ever see.
Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention for just one moment, Mr. Bonnie's last wish before his death was that I read this out to the audience, so here I am. Today we have just a few baskets to go through. I brought Yvette with me. The first basket we have for this evening is the Mission Barbecue Basket. Today, that will be going to Abigail Seri. So, anyways. Secondly, we have our Chili's Basket, which will be going to... Michael Witt. The third basket we have for this evening is the Holiday Inn Basket, which shall be going to Cynthia Grieco. It's we. <clears throat> Next, we have our flower football basket, which shall also be going to Ed Reaping. Wow, wow. Wonderful, wonderful. Next up, we have our Longhorn Steakhouse basket, which shall be going to Nikki Mitchell. Next, our Aladdin's basket shall also be going to Nikki Mitchell. Yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. And lastly, our Steel Valley, Valley Brew Works basket shall be going to... Cynthia Grieco! Woot woot! Now, we have to go tend to those bodies. Now, cherish, cherish your, your partner. partner. They, might they might be the, be the last, last person you ever see.
This is quite an impressive library. How am I meant to find anything if I don't even know what I am looking for? Civilized society is perpetually menaced through the disintegration between this primary hostility of man towards one another. Your fancy words don't intimidate me, Professor, and that was a map. Take no credit, Mrs. Peacock. Freud, I think he's on to something. Now is not the time for academic pursuits. We're meant to be searching for evidence. It's a fruitless search, if you ask me. I mean, it's not like we're going to find evidence plastered on the walls. Fruitless is definitely a word I would not use, Mr. Peters, here. Uh, I suppose you're right. Come on, let's go upstairs. Maybe we'll be more interested by something in a bedroom. Uh, I haven't been excited by anything in a bedroom in years. Anyways, as I was saying, dude, there's like a whole bunch of people here. I think they're having some sort of party or something. The funny thing is, I think one of them is my customer, dude. Yeah, dude, my regular Tuesday night passenger. The door is locked. You had 
got the key, Wadsworth. You locked the motorist in here. That's right, I did. I do. No, I don't. It's gone. Gone? gone. I have an idea. Oh, what? Please, get us out of here. There's a murderer on the loose. All right. There's no other alternative. I'm gonna have to break down the door. Stand back. I'm a doctor. Stand back. I'm a woman. Notice 
the mahogany floors. Did you know in 1812, John S. Quimelling first recorded the use of mahogany in canoes? Can you canoe on the snow? What? Hey, where did everybody go? Officer, notice, notice the brass doorknobs first constructed for Lord Body by his buddy in 1775. I don't care about the doorknobs, mister. What's going on around here? What are you hiding in those two rooms? Um, uh, oh my gosh. What two rooms, officer? The lounge and the study. Oh. Those two, nothing. Nothing at all. No, officer, I would not go in there if I were you. Why not? Because, because it is all too shocking. Hello, officer. Welcome to the party. Oh, excuse me. You are excused. <laughs> Sorry. No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Good night, old Vincent. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. That wasn't all that shocking, sir. Those folks were just having a good time. Why didn't you tell me this was a party? I'm sorry, officer. I would, I would like to take a peek in the lounge too, if you don't mind. I... <coughs> Excuse me? Oh, good evening, officer. How do you do? <laughs> Are these men drunk? Dad drunk. Uh -huh. Oh, where my men is? Do you want some? No, thanks. I can't drink on the job. Chief would kill me. Kill if you do, kill if you don't. I'm sorry, what? what? Huh? <laughs> oh, nothing. Here, how about a nice hat? Have a lovely evening, officer. Of course, there. And the chief goes down. Good luck. Thank you. Officer, I can explain everything. You see, it all started there is like... There's no explanation necessary. There's nothing illegal about any of this. There's not? Of course not. This is America, and that was a pursuit of happiness. May I use your phone now? Absolutely, officer. Right. Right through here. Thank you. Yes, yes. Good work, all of you. Impressive, really. That was disgusting. Mr. Green! What the hell is this? You don't want to know. Psst! I've locked him in the library. How'd you do that? I thought you didn't have the keys. I didn't have my left pocket keys. My right pocket keys are intact. Now, we must finish what we started. The police are on their way. The police already came! No, oh, oh, sorry. Um, no, no not, not the, the, not the broken, broken down, down car police, the, the criminal investigation police. Precisely. We, we have, have to finish searching the house, and we cannot afford another murder. This is getting dangerous. Now go. Hello? Hello? A power outage. Must be the storm. Oh, hello, Chief. Yes, this is... Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Is this phone working? Hello? Hello? Oh, it's 
Unfortunately, you, you frightened me. I thought you were the killer. Did somebody cut the line? Hello? Hello? What is that in your hand? Did you find that glue? Listen, I found an abandoned car and wound up in an old mansion where all the lights just went out. And I'm telling you, Chief, there's something funny going on around here. They're having some sort of a party. You'll never guess who I just saw. No! When did you get so short? There we go. Who is that? Where are the lines? You're not Professor Plum! What? What? Huh? Let there be lights! Oh, that is. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. It sounds like a, a, a telephone is off the hook. Yeah, it's coming from the library. I'm going in. Are you afraid? Yes. Of what? A fate worse than death? No, just dead, really. Close the door. Hey, officer. I think he's going to say assistance, sir. Maybe a trophy, perhaps. Maybe a phone book. Oh, the butler asked you a question. Hang up the phone, or I will. Oh, no, we'll be safe in the billiard room. It wasn't me this time. Oh, this time? Oh. The door oh, dear. was Both. <coughs> so it wasn't you that was Three minutes. Three minutes. That's our best record. Three <laughs> murders. Six all together. Mr. Body, the cook, the motorist, the cop, Yvette, and the singing telegram girl. Uh, yes, but who is the killer? Ain't that the million dollar question? Sometimes the most obvious answers are right under our noses. I suggest we retrace our footsteps. It all started like this. That's not how it started. In the beginning there was rain, thunder, lightning, dogs were barking. Ding dong, Colonel Muster. Ding dong, Mrs. White, who noticed the vet in the hallway with the champagne. Ding dong, Mrs. Peacock, who noticed 
got a cook. Ding dong. Uh, go away, go away, go away. Mr. Green. Ding dong. Professor Plum. Miss Scarlet. Gong. Dinner to the dining hall. Oh, shark's fin soup. Yummy, yum. Yummy, yummy, yum. Then Mr. Body arrived and we all went to the study. Say, who is this body? Your British butler? How do you do? Then Mr. Body asked me to pass out the packages. It's a rope. Then Mrs. Body asked me to turn out the lights. Now! Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the revolver is the killer. Well oh, done, Wadsworth. You won't be able to prove anything. You're all dead. But if we're alive, there's your man, officers. How do you do that? Well done, Wadsworth. Yeah, that's what I said. Yes, well, I'm saying it now. I'm Hank Kutch, chief of police. Professor Plum, you're coming with me. Wait, that's not how it happened. It happened like this. Whoa. We're listening, Professor Plum. Who do you accuse? It was Colonel Mustard in the lounge with the wrench. I never lounge! I found your Medal of Honor in the lounge where the motorist was killed with the wrench to the head. And that wrench belongs to you. Well, the wrench is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the wrench is the killer. Oh, done, Bob's work! There's your man, officer. It's not a kernel of truth in him. Well done, Wadsworth. Hey, that's what I said. Yes, Lord, say it now. Guilty murder. Chief of Police. Colonel Mustard, you're coming with me. You have it all wrong. It happened like this. We're listening. Colonel Mustard, who do you accuse? It was Miss White in the billiard room with the rope. I'd rather die. I found your veil in the billiard room. I saw you cringe when you met Sir Hugh Dinner. Yes, it's true. I knew you meant. She had a torrid love affair with my late husband. I hated her. I hated her so much. The flames from the side of my face, breathing even regrets. But just because I hated her does not mean I killed her. Well, the rope is missing. Gentlemen, empty your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. Well, that's... I well, wait. Wait. well done, Wadsworth. Well done, Wadsworth. Hey, that's what I said. Yes, well, I'm saying it now. Mark, I'm worried. Chief of police, Mrs. White. It happened like this. 
It was Miss Peacock in the kitchen with the dagger. Found your feather by the corpse. Well, the dagger is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Hey, that's what I said. There's a lot saying it now. I'm Barry D. Hodges. Chief of Police. But that's not how it happened. It happened like this. It was Miss Scarlet in the library with the candlestick. Max E. Mom, Chief of Police. You can't do this to me. Frankly, Miss Scarlet, I don't give a damn. But that's not how it really happened. I know who the killer is. Who? It's all. Sorry, one moment. Uh, it's all of you. Freeze! Oh my God! You can prove anything, Wadsworth. I'm not Wadsworth. I'm Mr. Body. How can you be Mr. Body if Mr. Body bled all over me? It wasn't Mr. Body who was bleeding. Uh, wait. So if Body wasn't Body. Who was he? He. <clears throat> He was my butler, Wadsworth. <gasps> you but, but if you're the real Mr. Body, then what was the purpose in dragging this whole thing out? Well, see, when you started killing people, I decided to roll the dice, take a chance, if you will, see if you'd kill off my entire network of spies and informers, which you all did splendidly, by the way, give yourselves a round of applause, generously leaving your fingerprints on every doorway, murder weapon, and well. <laughs> Dead body. So now I have you all on the hook for murder. Murder! See, bribery and petty crimes are one thing, but murder, now that can get a bit expensive. But why this whole charade? The searching of the house, the madness of her chasing our steps. Well, it's all part of the game. Game! <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm relaxed now. Now that you've killed everyone off, there's no evidence left against me. I've gotten off scot free, as Wadsworth would, or well, would have said. <laughs> but the police are going to get here any minute. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> What's so funny? Nobody's called the police, have they? The police were never on their way. Uh, here's what's going to happen. We're gonna stack the bodies in the cellar, then we're all gonna leave Body Manor one at a time and pretend none of this ever happened. I won't be able to forget all this. With murder on the menu, the price of your blackmail just tripled. Forgotten. That's what I thought. Now, go on, get the bodies. Wait a minute. We can all rush him. He's got no more bullets left in that gun. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. It's not a trick. There was one shot of Mr. Body, two for the chandelier, two at the lounge door, and one for the singing telegram girl. That's not six. One plus two plus two plus one. There was only one shot of the chandelier. That makes it one plus one plus two plus one. Even if you were right, it would be one plus two plus one plus one, not one plus one plus two plus one. Oh, okay, fine. One plus two. Shut up! Poisons! There's one bullet left in this gun, and whoever moves is gonna get it. <laughs> so, so, you're just gonna keep blackmailing us, and we're supposed to pretend this whole thing never even happened? <laughs> well, yeah, why not? <laughs> well, I'll tell you why not. Oh, he's taking off his glasses. <laughs> Larry, go on. <laughs> FBI. He's straight! The jig is up. Or is it? <laughs> oh, you missed. Miss me. Yeah, Wait, you're FBI? FBI? Apparently I'm a dead ringer for green. He got in a letter just like Ichi is, but uh, he came to the bureau to ask for help. I took his place tonight so we could have a sting operation. So to sting? <laughs> like six people died on your watch. I usually work the desk. <laughs> Might be this property crime. You know, theft, fraud. That's why I was so tickled when the real Mr. Wadsworth risked his neck to drop off a whole briefcase with the evidence last night. You've had the evidence this whole time? Well, sure, it's all here. Miss Scarlett's books, including names of customers and employees, just to find why she killed that cop who was listed here on the payroll. Give me those! Oh, as well as a letter addressed to Professor Plum. Private property. That singing telegram girl was teenage daughter, the head of the you know who. Who would have came clean to dad? Who would have cleaned up Professor Plum? So you killed her. Now see here! Uh uh uh. Come on. I made it so far. Uh, not far enough. 
Oh, Gwen, these, these negatives. negatives. Do you, do you Not negative. Uh, teenage? Oh, 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 wait, my, my Teenage. And these negatives, Gwen, quite the regular Miss Scarlet's establishment. No. Bet you couldn't be a coiner anymore if that general of yours knew where that motorist drove you on Tuesday night, huh? <laughs> what is someone to talk with? <laughs> Shots been soup indeed, Mrs. Peacock. Too bad your old cook couldn't keep her mouth shut. If only she had a blab about your bribers, maybe you wouldn't have killed her just before joining this outside the billiard room. Now we know what really took you so long. Uh, circumstantial evidence will never hold up in the court of law. Ah, but, uh... Oh, this notarized record from the cook, Joel. Oh, well. oh, God, where did you get that? <laughs> Mrs. White, you weren't lying, were you? You really did hate me. You really did hate your vet. Flames on the side. Yeah, whatever, we get it. Here is a container holding the fingerprints of your previous murders. I never murdered my husband. Fingerprints? I'm sure the FBI would be able to match to those found on the noose tied around your vet's neck. I wore gloves. All right. You mean these? And last but not least, Mr. Bobby Body. It's Robert. Now you, you didn't hit your vet at all, did you, Mr. Body? What's it to you? Alyssa Green Cod Love Affairs, the icing on the cake of this FBI file. An FBI file on the whole body family. Your butler, the real Wadsworth, has been feeding us information for months. <laughs> Talk about a real American, am I right? He was British. You know what I mean. I see why you'd want to kill him. Twice. You shot Miss him in the study, but he wisely decided to play dead. And it wasn't until you caught him trying to escape that you blasted him to death with the left fight. I dropped while running to the kitchen. I mean, Really? Who drops a murderer? I didn't know it was a... Okay. The Body family has been wanted for organized crime for generations, but they've always eluded the law. Until now. Tonight, the body business has reached a dead end. You leave my family in this! I think you broke the rhythm. Ow! Oh, it's over, Bobby. Larry, 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 oh, Larry, there's something I need to tell you about. What? You got something wrong in your story. It wasn't for a green card to vet love for me. She, she told me so herself, right? That, that, that has to mean it's true, Larry. It's, it's got to come for some. You stay away from him. I All right, go ahead, that. Let, him, let him check, let him check. One more time, Larry, Larry, I broke. I wrote an original composition for today that I, I think you want to hear. <clears throat> Colonel Mustard, Mr. Green, Professor Plum loved the team. Miss Scarlet, Miss White, and your vet had a fight. Wadsworth with the lead pipe. Be body took out his life. The cop motorists, they were beat until they dropped. We didn't start the murders. Well. <laughs> He's dead. One more time. Oh, 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 stop doing that. Do you know where the pulse is?
you've been looking for, officers. And you'll find the recordings of their confessions just inside the billiard room. The tapes. All right. Who done it? Did it! They all did it. But if you want to know who killed Mr. Body, it was me, Special Agent Larry Goodman, in the hall with my gun. And that's how it really. <laughs> Take him away, Chief. Take him away. Go on, go on, go on.